still leaving some yellow in there to come through. And don't forget about the ends of the foot, which I did with the yellow, but we'll come in and darken them up. I mean, because this is a forest green, which is even different than our olive green color that we had. There. Quick, easy, and painless. Now, what's left to do on the feet is the toenails. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to come in and I'm going to base coat the piece with black and then I'm going to come and I'm going to, like I did with the, the stitching the, on the other one, I'm going to come in with a, uh, with a, uh, a lighter, lighter uh, cream color. And, but I'm not going to really dry brush it on, but I'm not going to put it on heavy because I want the black to show through. And then I'm just going to come over with a, a, a wash of uh, raw sienna just to, just to give it a little color. All right, so first we're going to want to move in with our black to paint our toenails. Switch back to the other camera, Jay. All right, and you see in here they have these really deep grooves in here. Get the black up in there. Get it up in there. And just follow the toenail line and completely paint your toenail in. All right, you're going to want to move in and do the same thing to every toe on both feet. Uh, I neglected to say, you know, you want to use the same green techniques on your feet. Fade to black. All right, as you can see, we've got all the toenails base coated black. I did this on both feet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. It's called the desert sand, but it's a, it's a tan, a light tan. What I'm going to do is I'm not Again, not doing a true dry brush because uh, I'm leaving quite a bit of paint on. And I'm just coming in. And you want to leave an outer rim of the black from the toenail that you put on there before. And just come in and give some color to it, still letting some black show through. Again, you do want to do this to all your toenails. You know, let that black show through a little bit. You can be a little he bit heavy-handed with this. All right, now that we've uh, got all our toenails base coated, I've done this on both feet. What I'm going to do is just to give it a little bit dirtier look, maybe. I don't know. I just think it looks good. I'm going to take some uh, raw umber. And I'm just going to make a wash with my brush. and Just come in and just kind of wash over the color, like so. And just, you know, I mean, this is really quick. You just just to give the toenails a different tone. As you can see, really quick. I'm going to go in, I'm going to do this to the other foot, and uh, after this is done, I'm going to come in and start on the hands. All right, uh, now that we've got both feet done, we're going to move on to the hands. And basically, we're going to use the same colors and same techniques. Uh, I'm probably going to come in with a couple lighter greens here and there. And uh, as I said before, the webbing on the hands, I'm going to do quite a bit lighter than I did on the feet. So uh, again, we're going to move in with the avocado green, and let's get started on it. Again, this is one you really want to kind of base, it's kind of not a base coat, but it's your real first highlight, so you want to get it over, get her over everything. Whereas, as you noticed with the other colors, we just did them in a, a more of a controlled area which is fine. That works out great when you do it like that, too. Uh, if, if, if you watch some of our episodes, you notice this is the second creature kit I've done. I did a, a bust of a creature kit. Um, I am a big creature fan. I, I just love the costume. I think it's great. Some of the movies are kind of kind of boring, but uh, I mean, today, uh, just watching that costume on screen, or actually on my TV, um, that would hold up in some of today's special effects worlds, you know, I mean, it was just done very good. Although this version was kind of, I think, a little cheaper in the end, because uh, he never had a full body shot. All right, now, again, we come in with our slime just to, just to highlight some areas. Nothing too fancy. This one, I'm not going to hit too many areas on, as I did with the feet. I'm just going to come in. If you see here, there's some fins along here. I'm going to come in and just highlight that area up there pretty good. And 
didn't have enough green on there. All right, we'll flip her over, do the same thing on that side. Again, same thing here. And I'm just gonna kind of run it. A little, little too thick there, more than I wanted. But uh, just kind of over those quick. See right here. You know, I mean, it's all up to you. I mean, it's your kit. It's the one nice thing about it. You can pretty much ch pick and choose how you're gonna do, do your kit. We'll come around to the back side. I'll throw some up on the fingertips here. A little there, not too much for the slime green. All right, now what we're gonna do is, we're again, we're gonna come in, as we did with the feet with the celery green to really, uh, really highlight the areas of the higher knuckles and all that good stuff. And this is gonna tone down that slime a little bit. All right, so we're gonna move in here. And I'm just gonna, I just wanna catch the upper ribs and this stuff here. Make sure to get the, get the thumb finger there. And we'll move around. I'm just gonna come in, dry brush some in there. I'm gonna get a little heavier handed on this side, just for some variety. All right, that one's done. Now, as I said before, I'm gonna use some different colors here. And what I'm gonna do is I have a, a really light lime color and uh, it's not a darker line, but it, they've really lightened it up. And if you notice along the hands down here, uh, there's some scales down here. And what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over those scales to really lighten that color up. Really lighten those scales up quite a bit. See, see how that really brought those scales up? And what the heck, let's, let's just run a little bit over here. Kinda lighten that up a little bit. Throw maybe down a bit down in there. There we go. All right, and what I'm gonna do different on the webbing here is I'm gonna come in with a yellow like I did on the on the foot, but I'm really gonna really gonna lighten it up a lot more than what I did on the foot. Again, we're gonna to want to use our smaller brush to apply this because this is a smaller area, and if we use the other one, we would uh, run into some trouble with getting it on uh, on our area that's already painted, and to have the right brush helps. All right, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna be pretty heavy-handed with this. I really want the. I really want you to notice that it's yellow and not a, not a real green. See, there we go. See how. See how it's not. It has more of a yellowish color to it. And it really works good on this web because of the fan being outstretched. It's gonna be a little bit rougher here, down in here. But if we just get pretty heavy-handed with it. You can get a pretty good effect. And make sure you come around and do it to the back side of the hand. Mm -hmm.